So this is probably going to be a quick one, but we are going to break down the Awaken Foolish event because, well, there are Stellar Shards, there are Master Toolboxes, there are some stuff up for grabs, and I want to talk about what you guys can expect completely free to play from this event, barring some RNG. Uh, the question is what the rates are on these Awakenings because it really seems like if you're heading anything under an S tier on this guy... <laughs> The rewards are just basic rewards, which can still help in the early game, but not for the majority of players. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Quick breakdown, not an important event by any means, a fun event. Let's see what it's all about. So yeah, this is the man right here, and this is the event that we are talking about because, well... It is a side event and it is almost like a little bit of a tease because we've been dying for a solo awakening gala in a session and instead we now get a foolish awakening session so let's break this down it says during this event every 100 i know they're called like fantasy something they're just foolish starry gems to me for every 100 foolish starry gems aka the same rate normal awakenings are use can perform a soul awakening on the hero using the awakening can perform an awakening exchange to obtain the following gifts it says these can only be used during this awakening foolish event and will become invalid and sold for coins at the end of the event who so once again let's take a look at this right here here are essentially the possibilities of where to get these resources from total possible from free to play well skylab you're probably going to get like seven floors done because you're probably not going to spend too many gems on this event since there's other things to spend gems on so that's going to give you 700 if you do a full 2160 of wishing coins that's going to give you 200 per loop for a grand total of 1800 hopefully i'm doing this math right lastly there is a total of 1200 right here from the mysterious chest event however these really do not need to be purchased this week like in reality these should be the last priority you have for spending gems the eggs are the most important by far the foolish event is just that foolish fun that is 100 all it is and then of course the only other place is these random eggs because if you do get the egg upgrades which i guess technically if you're doing this event you're probably going to get anywhere between four and eight of this tier of egg uh which does mean you'll be able to get some of these foolish starry gems as well but again that's completely random on what you're going to get i guess you could say four is guaranteed so it's like really 400 to there which makes this 4100 which essentially means you have a grand total of 41 awakenings on this foolish i think i broke that down right maybe even more and again let's talk about these rates so essentially when you get e tiers you're only going to be getting the surprise gift up the top makes sense if you get anywhere from a d minus to a d plus you get the surprise gift times two now i don't know if that means it pulls two different ones or it just doubles whichever one you get from the surprise gift if you get a c minus to c plus uh you get four times the surprise gift if you get a b minus to b plus you get six times the surprise gift yeah you can see where i'm going here even a minus to a plus you're still only getting the surprise gift but at a 10 times rate the only way to start getting stellar shards uh crystals of transcendence master toolboxes glorious relics is by getting an s tier or higher and honestly we have no clue what that rate is going to look like it says redeem an s tier and you get the surprise gift aka the top one 10 times and the exquisite gift one time if you get an ss you get 10 surprise gift and two exquisite gift if you get the sss you get 10 times surprise gift and three times exquisite gift so unless these are coming left right and center with s tiers this event does seem like it will be pretty lacking but i figured i'd cover it so you guys knew the breakdown on this is definitely not an important event to worry about it's just some bonus resources and hey maybe you get lucky and get your first ever sss foolish hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys tonight